What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today we'll be opening up a Hero Strike structure deck. This is the new structure deck that was just released, uh, including the new Elemental Heroes and Masked Heroes in this, or Elemental Hero, I guess, really, because uh, Shadow Mist, I believe, is the only new one out of that. And uh, here's the deck list and everything, as you can see there, and uh, showing off the new Masked Heroes, as well as the playmat you're receiving in this. These are $10, and I got this one from uh, StrikesOnline.com, be sure to check them out, link in the description. Let's go ahead and open this, though, and uh, show you guys all the stuff you get on these structure decks. Like I said, it is $10, like the other structure decks that have come out before it. You get the normal stuff, too, with it. You're getting, of course, uh, a rulebook, as you can see there, just an updated version of the rulebook. Uh, yeah, this is like a little card thing, like they include sometimes in products. Uh, the playmat, as you can see, if I can undo it real quick for you guys. I like the playmat, too. I like how it has all the heroes on it. Even Neos is on it too, so there we go. You can kind of see it. See the Master Heroes and then Voltic and Neos on the other side. Let's kind of use it as our, our background right there. There we go. Then you get like this uh, advertisement right here, which uh, shows like the deck list and everything. It also shows the combos, and then here's like the advertisement stuff on the other side of it, showing you what other products you can buy that are Yu Gi Oh! related. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this. There's a tab thing that makes it a lot easier to open up that I can get it out of that plastic. Plastic's usually a pain. So first off we have Contrast Hero Chaos. This is one of the newer heroes that came out. It's a really cool card too. I like its effect. It has a strong effect and uh, just looks awesome. Then after that you get Emerald Hero Shadow Mist. Kind of our replacement for Stratos I guess for now for us in the TCG so we'll have Stratos. Then for our other new Master Heroes we have uh, Master Hero Koga, Master Hero Divine Wind, Master Hero Dark Law, Dark Law is an amazing card, too. It's one of the key cards that makes it where uh, Master Heroes are very usable and uh, and competitive. Then, of course, you're getting reprints, too, like Ocean, Woodsman, Voltic, Heat, uh, Avion. I guess they were, I think they added an Avion for us since uh, we can't have Stratos, unfortunately. Neos, Neos Alias, Blade Edge, all these older Elemental Heroes and stuff, too, so it's cool to see. Even Bubble Man. And then you even get a Grand Mole and Honest. Those are good reprints. Card Trooper. Wing Kribo. I thought it was kind of funny they added Wing Kribo in this, which, of course, makes sense. Summoner Monk, that's a good reprint too. And now for other uh, new cards they have, new spell cards are Mass Change 2, really good card. It can make it where uh, just a regular monster can become a masked hero, so it's a pretty cool card. Form Change, Mass Charge, and then you get Mass Change again. This has already come out for us before, but it's still a good reprint in case you missed out on the set that it came out in. I think it was Generation Force. Then after that, Miracle Fusion is a good reprint, Parallel World Fusion. A Hero Lives is probably my favorite reprint of this set, too, because I think it was like a $10 card before this, so that makes it a lot easier for people to get that want to run Heroes. Then you get all the different letters that spell Hero. Reinforcement of the Army is good. Duality. And, of course, Call the Hunted Bottomless and Compulse are always good reprints. As well as you're getting an Elemental Hero Great Tornado. I I don't know. I, that seems like a weird reprint to me, but I guess it's good because I guess you could only get it from like the Legendary Collection or something. I don't I don't know if it's ever had a reprint since then that I can really remember. So that's an alright reprint for that. I was kind of thinking they would have like the Dark Elemental Hero or maybe uh, you know even Shining would be good from that. But I guess Shining has had a reprint in one of the tens. But uh, yeah, there is the structure deck. Uh, what I think on this is I think it's a really good structure deck. I think it's one of the best ones we've had you know since like the Light Sworn one. You can basically just get three of these, and I think you can build a competitive Master Hero deck. I mean, you can pretty much have everything you need. You're always going to miss a few of the extra deck stuff, you know, some of the normal staples, and there are of course you know some of the older heroes that uh, you're going to pick up, which I think are pretty cheap anyway, like Absolute Zero. Uh, Escarado, I think, is the dark one. Yeah, I think that's his name. I always forget his name for some weird reason. And uh, the Shining, of course, like I said, you you might need those. And uh, I don't think any of them are really expensive that I can recall. And, uh, you know, a few XC monsters. Other than that, I really do recommend this. Uh, this is going to be, I think, a really competitive deck to use. And, of course, a lot of fun. So I really do recommend it. And, uh, yeah, that's what I think on this structure deck. So tell me what you guys think on it, whether you uh, plan to try out Masked Heroes or not, or what variant you even plan to go with, because with Heroes there's always plenty of variants out there, especially once we get Blaze Man, which I believe is in April. So I can't wait for that, and uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think on this. Of course, uh, thank you for watching, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Be sure to check out StrikesOnline.com, and of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Knight Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Knight CCG for Cardfight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!